Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to build the Ronin 2. The first step is to assemble the grip. Take the upper part, place it on the lower part, tighten it down. Then take the gimbal itself and carefully slide it onto the dovetail mount on the grip. Then lock it in place. Then take the battery mount and slide your batteries into place. Then secure the battery mount onto the back of the Ronin. Today we're going to be using a Canon C300 Mark II with the Ronin II. But before we mount the camera in the Ronin, it needs a little more preparation. The first thing we have to do is mount a cheese plate to the top of the camera. When securing the camera plate, make sure that this arrow is pointing towards the rear of the camera. Also, center the camera plate with the camera's center of gravity. Before we can place the camera on the Ronin, we have to install the camera top crossbar. Where this goes depends on the camera you're using and its center of gravity. In order for the C300 to fit on the Ronin, we have to remove the side handle. The next step is to remove the top bar. Then slide the camera plate onto the dovetail mount and lock it down. Now the top bar can be replaced. Don't tighten this top knob down completely. Leave it a little bit loose. Then lock down the sides. Before balancing the camera, be sure to remove the lens cap and attach any other wires or cables that you need in order for your camera to operate. The Ronin 2 is a three axis gimbal, meaning we have to balance each axis. We're gonna start with the tilt axis. Right now, the camera is very bottom heavy, so I need to move the whole apparatus up. To do that, start by unlocking these, then tip it up like so and rotate these until it stays. That seems pretty close. I'm going to lock it off there. We will probably have to come back to it and readjust that later. So it doesn't have to be completely perfect just yet. The camera is now back heavy, so I need to move the camera forward in the gimbal. To move the camera forward, make sure that this top knob is loose and then rotate this counterclockwise. Once complete, tighten the top knob. We're getting pretty close, but the camera is still bottom heavy just a little bit. So I'm gonna unlock these again and rotate these a little bit more. The tilt axis looks good. We're gonna move on now to the roll axis. Release the roll axis with this thing here in the back. Clearly the camera wants to roll to the right, so we're going to move the camera to the left using this knob here, but only once we've tripped the lock first. Again, make sure that this knob is loose before doing this. Then lock it when you're done. The third and final axis is the pan axis. First unlock the pan axis then unlock the pan axis control. Lifting up on one side of the Ronin is gonna tell you which direction you need to go. If the back moves downhill, the whole unit needs to come forward. So we're gonna rotate this counterclockwise to move it forward. That looks about right. Now I can lock this axis. To turn it on, press and hold the power button on the battery module. 
Before using the Ronin, it's a good idea to perform an auto-tune. The Ronin 2 is now balanced and ready to use.